Hi. Hi, my name is Jen Diamond, and I'm going to talk to you about the terminal. So, this is a a talk I gave a long time ago. You can see the date down here is April thirteenth, two thousand thirteen. Um, not much has changed, so it is in the terminal. So, well, let's start at the beginning. Oh my goodness! So. My name is Jen Diamond. Um, you can reach out to me at any of these places. I'm pretty Googleable. Um, my background is I was a boom operator, sun recorder, scenic painter, musician, graphic designer, animator, clothing designer, and a web designer. If it's creative, I did it for money. Um, now I, um, how did I, I, so now I'm a web developer at UCLA. At, um, how did I get to do this from being going from a creative side of life? Well, I was doing an animation for Planetarium Dome at Glendale Community College. And that was the Planetarium Dome was run by a proprietary uh, programming language that was really bizarre and hard to use. Um, I learned a little bit of Ruby so I could um, program it to do what I wanted to do, which was to make these animals animate around the um, ceiling of the dome. And from there, I just kept learning more and more stuff. And now I am a full-fledged developer. So the terminal. Uh, before the terminal, there was punch cards and then the teletype. Both these used paper. So the video terminal was a huge improvement that allowed people to interact with a computer on a video screen and save a lot of trees and paper. So the terminal is not cute and cuddly, but you can change the colors. Um, my terminal looks like this. Ooh. Um, or this, Ooh. but most often it looks like this, like a big black box. Often they'll call it the black box. Um, let's see. All right. You ready to get started? Okay, there's a terminal on your computer. So um, it's different for Macs, Linux, and Windows. So um, if you can't seem to find it, just go find um, a terminal on uh, Linux or on, oops, that's Minix, or on Windows. I didn't say I could type. Um, or on Mac, right? And then, of course, Google knows. I wouldn't say this is not the best one. Um, always look for good resources when, when you're um, Googling things. Um, so I'm on a Mac, so I'll tell you how to do it from a Mac. So you go up here to your toolbar and press the go. And from there, you go down to utilities. There's always several ways to do things from any um, computer. So this is the first one. And it's telling you the shortcut right here. This is shift, that's command, and that's the capital letter U. So I will do it this way, and it will open up this utilities box. And there it is, terminal. I'll make this a little bigger so you can read it. Okay, so I can open it terminal there. Ooh, I double click on it. And oh, I already have it open. Okay, so I'm gonna close that or you can go command shift U and it opens again, or you can go command spacebar and say terminal. That's there's usually three different ways you can do things. So terminal. So I use my terminal all the time, so I keep mine in my toolbar. Um, then shift U, terminal. I'm gonna double click and open that up so we can follow along. 
can't see my toolbar over here, but I am going to open a new basic terminal. All right, so here's my basic terminal. Mine's white with black letters, but yours is probably black with white letters. Let's see if I can. Get the regular basic. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so the terminal. So here we have it open. All right, I'm going to squish it to fit over here. All right, so we'll figure out, I'll show you how to change colors later or. Um, uh, you can always go into the preferences section and change the colors, but you can look that up later. Okay, so the terminal is also called the command line. Um, so it gives commands to your computer and, oh gosh, okay. So next what we're going to do is in this terminal section, unless mine has a little dinosaur, um, you're going to type the letter PWD. Once you type that, PWD stands for Print Work Directory. It outputs the current path of your current directory. So it tells you where you are. So when I hit the return button or enter, it says I'm in the user's gen diamond directory. Directory is another word for folder. It's generally what programmers use instead of folder. Folder is really a, a Macintosh thing. You can say either interchangeably. So this means I am the user Gen Diamond, right? So when you turn your computer on and it says, which user do you want to be? I choose Gen Diamond because that's me. Um, so next thing I want to do is say CD. Uh, CD stands for change directory. This command lets you change uh, from the directory you're in to the directory you, you name after the letter CD. So in this example here, I changed from users gen diamond directory to users gen diamond desktop directory. So let me do that, desktop. All right. So, as the example shows, it now says, um, if I do a PWD and show where I am, it will say users Gen Diamond desktop, right? And if I wanna go back to just plain users Gen Diamond, then I have to say CD change directory dot dot, you don't really have to do the slash. You can just say dot, dot. And now if I say PWD, I'm back into the user's gen diamond. So this might seem really obtuse and I have no idea what's happening right now, you might be thinking, but just, just go with it for now, right? Just follow along and then we'll, um, uh, break it down a little bit later. It will start making a little more sense. If you're on a Windows machine, there are different uh, command uh, line, uh, commands for for different things. So with Windows, you should look up what the difference is between um, the command line for Windows versus Linux or Mac. Linux and Mac, it's going to be the same thing. All right. Next on our list, make dir. Well, that's how I say it. I'm not sure how anyone else says it, but make dir and then directory name. Make dir stands for make directory or make a folder, right? It creates a new directory and it also names it whatever name you make for it. So I'm going to say, first I'd say, where am I? PWD. I'm in Gen Diamond. I would like to be on the desktop and make um, 
make a directory on my desktop. I'll move this and show you my desktop currently has cats, llamas, and stuff. That's all, everything I have. But the cats and llamas are right there. So let's make a, how about we make a puppy directory? So first of all, I'm going to change directory into my desktop again. Oops, I spelled it wrong. Desktop, bam. I'm gonna hit return and then I'm in my desktop. How do I know for sure? I'll say print work directory and hit enter. And there I am, users, Gen Diamond desktop. Now I'm gonna say, use this new command and say make dir for make directory and call it puppy. Okay, I'm gonna move this. So as soon as I do this, hit enter, you'll see another directory here, another folder. Ta-da, there's the puppy. Now, is there anything in the puppy directory? No, it's just empty. It's just empty. All right, so uh, let's see what, what's next. So, oops. LS, sorry. Um, LS stands for list. LS lists all the files in the directory. So um, if I said LS right now, it will show everything that's on my desktop. There's a stuff folder, there's a cats folder, there's the llamas directory, and there's the puppy directory. Um, so now if I change directories into puppy, oops, puppy, and then I list what's in puppy, what will it return, do you think? Well, we just saw there's nothing in there, so I would guess it would return nothing, which it does. So now if I want to go print work directory to see where I am, we'll say I'm in the users, Gen Diamond, desktop, puppy directory. Now, if I wanna go and see what's in the cat directory, then I'll have to change directories and go backwards. And now you can see from the prompt here that I'm just in desktop. Let's double check, I can say PWD, where am I? Okay, I'm just in users and diamond desktop. And now I'm gonna CD into the cat directory. Okay, uh-oh, what do you mean? Let's list what's in desktop. What do you mean there's no cat directory? Oh, it's cats. See, computers aren't that smart. You have to tell them exactly what to do. They're not gonna infer that it's cats. They just say there is no cats. So let's see, CD cats. All right, now you can see from the prompt, I'm in the desktop cats, but we can also see your prompt might look different than mine. It's certainly not gonna have a dinosaur. So I'm gonna say PWD. And then you can see I'm definitely in the cats directory. And the other way I can know is I can list what's in the cat directory. And I can say LS for list. And then I look inside and look, there's two things in there. If I go over here and just double click on cats and look and see what's inside, you'll look, the same exact things that are here are in here. The command line's just a way, the terminal command line, same thing, um, is just a way for you to talk to your computer without clicking. Before there was ever a mouse, there was the terminal. You might wonder, why would I bother when I can just click around? Well, um, when you're a developer, it's just ends up being a lot faster and there's a lot of things that you can do in your terminal that you um, can't click around and do um, with just your mouse so 
It's one of the first steps. So let's see what's next on this list. So the up and down arrow will type in your previous commands. Um, keep pressing through them to scroll through your previous commands. Here I typed up arrow and it gave me my last command, which was ls. Let's see what our last command. So the up and down arrows are to the um, bottom right of your, um, of your keyboard, right next to your spacebar. So I'm going to press the up arrow and I'll see that the last thing we did was ls. Yep. And then I'm going to press it again. Last thing we did was pd. The thing we did before that was um, cd cats. Yep. Thing we did before that was ls. Yep. Thing we did before that was cd cats. Thing we did before that was pwd. And so on. So it's kind of a nice shortcut. And then here's the down arrow. Um, all right, so that's just a shortcut to make your life a little bit easier. Programmers like to do, um, ha have a lot of shortcuts in their lives because it just makes uh, their work a little bit easier and faster. So, oops, so what's next? The tab key. So the tab key is a weirdly important. It seems like just a shortcut but it, it's also a way to double check that you're in the right place. So if I wanted to, um, so say I changed directories and went back to just the plain desktop, and then I check, okay, am I, where am I? I'm in just the plain desktop. How else will I know? I can list what's on the desktop. Okay, I could see stuff, cats, llama, and puppy, just like we, uh, saw, right? Oh, there it is. Stuff, cats, and puppy. And now I want to uh, change directories into llama, say, right? If I start typing cd, okay, how about this? So earlier I typed cat instead of cats, right? If I started typing ca and I hit the tab button, it auto completes, right? So it will auto complete um, anytime you're in the right directory and there's something in there that says cats or something in there that fulfills the alphabetical order. If I had something that was, um, if I decided I'd make a directory that was cat, right? And now when we list the things, there's cat and cats and I try to CD into CA and hit tab, it just ends there. It doesn't do anything. Then I'm like, oh, cats, uh? okay, tab. And then it's, when you see that slash, it's finished. And then you can hit, oh, okay, cool. I'm in there. So I'm going to change directories out of there and get back to desktop and I will try that again with the tab. CD into La Amas. Is there something in there that starts with L? Oh, there sure is, because I hit the tab button and it auto completed. Um, now, say I try to CD into something that started with a T. Nothing on my desk in my desktop starts with a T. So if I hit tab to auto complete, do you think that's in there? I mean, do you think it's going to do anything? New, yeah, no, nope, it's not doing anything. Okay, so that's tab, oops. Okay, so see, there's no such file or directory. What's next? RM, file name. Okay, so RM stands for remove file. This can be dangerous uh, because there's no going back. So use it very clearly like pay big attention when you remove something so here we have our stuff cats llamas and puppies okay we want to get rid of that plain cat directory so let's try just removing cats right no oh, i really don't want to move remove that cat with an s 
because there's stuff in it, right? So we list, okay, there's stuff. Um, you can list stuff that's in a particular directory by saying ls cats. Like I don't have to change directory into the cats um, directory to see what's in it. I can just say list uh, what's inside of cats. Um, so, okay, we have those two things in there, but what's in plain cat? Nothing, right? So let's remove that because we don't need that anymore. So let's try that. RM cat. Cat's a directory. So if I want to remove cat, I have to say RM, I think it's dash um, recursively force, RMRF cat. Now this is a very dangerous command because this opens up the file and will delete, um, it opens up the directory and will delete the, everything in the directory. It just keeps looping till everything's deleted. So be very clear what you're doing when you do this because you literally could delete everything off of your computer and you do not want to do that. It's not going to ask you, did you want to do that? Nope, it's going to do that and it's gone off your computer. It's not in the trash. It is completely gone. So be very, very clear. Okay, I'm going to hit. Okay, see, now there's no warning. There's no nothing. Now I list what's in desktop and cat is just gone, right? Gone. Yep, it's not in the trash. If I opened up my trash, which I won't because it's very full and I need to delete it. Um, so what do we have next on this? Um, we're gonna skip that one because that's very specific to working in Rails. And control C, that's, um, if you run a server, control C stops if you're running a server or if you get into an infinite loop. Um, your control button plus uh, the letter C will stop any kind of recursive loop. Um, control L, that will clear your terminal screen. So if I hit and, and not command L, but control L um, on Windows and Linux, there'll be the control button, but on Macs, there'll be also command button. There's a difference between control and command. Control L clears your screen. So it's still there. See, I'm just scrolling and everything's still there, but it's, uh, it just makes a nice, seemingly fresh area for you. You can also say, um, uh, say we did a bunch of new things and we listed uh, LS cats and then we, you know, did LS cats again and we just were like, oh, it's so messy. You can also type clear and it will do the same thing. And if you scroll up, okay, everything's still there. Um, Let's see, so next, man, man oh man. So this is a cool one, man stands for manual. If you type man, you'll see um, uh, a manual page. So what manual do we wanna see? So say we said the manual page for LS, right? Mm -mm -mm. What is this? So this shows you all the different things you can do. It tells you what it does, right? LS, this lists the directory contents. You should get used to reading um, the main pages. They're, you don't have to be on the internet, connected to the internet. They're straight, they're right in your terminal and they're very useful. So these little, dash things are called flags. Some people say minus, some people say dash. Um, so if I say ls um, and then say dash a, this will include directories um, whose names begin with a dot. So if I called um, 
if I decided I'd make my file uh, my folder called cat and called it dot cat it would be an invisible file but I'd still be able to see it with this um, with this flag dash a um, let's try that um, to get out of the man page you use the letter Q and then you're back to your terminal so let's see, ls. So I'm going to make a directory. It's called, um, well actually, let's, it's more for files. It's not for directories. So let's cd into the cats directory, right? Here we are. How do we know we're there? We're in pwd, and then we can list the files. So um, let's make a direct, let's, uh, we just listed the files, so let's make a file called um, dot cat um, dot text or something. Um, to make a file, this isn't listed in the, the command line tutorial, but we can say, um, what is it? Um, uh, oh my gosh. Um, I forget because I don't normally make things this way. Um, you now if you forget things, you can always ask Google. Um, make a file in terminal. Right. Uh, let's see. Mm, touch. That's right. Touch. Um, so touch, and then whatever, they always use foo and bar, but I like to use cat and puppy. So if I say touch, and I say, um, let's say gorilla. I don't know, the cat can have a gorilla. Dot text, then I enter, and I list the files that are inside a cat. Now there's a gorilla text and open it here on my desktop there's the gorilla text what's in the gorilla text who knows nothing it's blank right i can look at it there and i can see it's blank or by double clicking right or i can say the word cat which really does not stand for cat as in kittens or cat it prints out what's in the text file so I say cat gorilla, oops, I spelled that wrong. See, this is why you wanna, uh, ls, oh yeah, see, this is why you wanna use tab because I just said cat gorilla, cat gorilla dot text. See, I hit tab there and it auto completed. Now it still returns nothing because there's nothing in there, but if, I open about cats. Look, there is a bunch of text inside the cats uh, dot text. I can say cat um, about cats. Oh, look, it's the same exact thing that I can see in the text editor. Now I'm showing you this because then if we want to say make another uh, if we want to make another uh, file and put some text inside it um, this is showing us we can say um, the word echo foo or in and this is pushing this little greater than sign is pushing the word foo into bar dot text let's push let's try that echo echo just repeats whatever you say so if i say echo um cat it will return the word cat if i say echo dog it returns the word dog so i'm going to say echo 
Um, I am a, a human uh, into push that into gorilla when I hit the tab there gorilla.txt then I am now going to use cat to look what's inside gorilla tab putting the tab dot text and now it says I am a human so I am now going to open that will open as in my little plain text editor called text edit and it says I am a human so watch this so I'm going to do I'm going to do it and I think it will just update so I'm going to try echo again and instead of saying I am a human I'll say well actually I am technically a gorilla now I'm going to refresh I'm going to close this and reopen it and it says well actually I am technically a gorilla See now this overwrote what we had already written. That's a whole nother level of things. But if you want to make a quick file with a little bit of text in it, so you have something inside of your file, you can do it with um, with touch, touch um, puppy dot text. puppy.txt and we're inside cats so puppy.txt is now going to be in here so now when we list what's in cats now we have about gorilla piku puppy and that those are exact same things when we list what's inside cats if i change directories out of here and then i list what's here we still have cats and i list what is inside of cats like that it's still the same thing so let's try let's see what's next is there let's oh yeah so let's go back to the man page for our point here was to look at the man page for ls right and so we're going to make a file called dot cat um cd into change directories into cat we'll list again oh it says there's no file or directory for cat what does that mean hmm why is that true let's see cat and instead of typing it all out i'll hit tab oh i forgot the s again here we go now let's list everything in there we're just plain ls and let's um make a file with a dot in front of it right and it will just be um let's call it kitten kitten.txt but it's called dot kitten.txt okay and done let's see if we can oops now oops sorry about that now let's list the files do we where's where's the kitten one i don't know well all dot all files named with dot in front of them are hidden so how do we see it because maybe there's something important there that we need so we're going to say ls space dash a like the man page showed us and here's all the files there's home there's the ds store that's very specific to mac and here's our dot kitten text file all right so um let's check the main page again for ls and see what else we have man ls 
Okay, um, let's see. So it lists the directory contents for each operand that names a file of a type other than directory. LS displays its name as well as any requested associated information. Let's see, if we use the flag ls, one that people use a lot is ls-l. So the lowercase l lists in long format, the total sum for all the file sizes and it is output on a line before the long listing. So let's quit out of here. And now let's say ls again. And it normally looks like this, right? Now if we say ls-l, it will look like this. Okay, so this shows, this part shows permissions, read, write, uh, read, read. So there's different permissions, read, write, and execute. And for different users, that's all what that this says. One, I'm not sure what that is. This is the user. Um, uh, I'm not sure what that is. This is how big the file is. This is when it was made. And this is the name of your text. Um, let's see. You can combine, you can combine um, flags as well. So anything with the little dash after it is called the flag. So if I say ls dash al, it will show all the hidden files in a list. So there is our .kitten file. Um, you can read the man page and see if there's anything else interesting that you might want to try to use. You should definitely get used to reading the man pages because they're very useful. Let's try man cd and see what cd has for us. Um, so what? So CD is really just to change directory. It's not um, the same as LS. Um, there's no flags for it because it's, uh, but this is a list of other possibilities that you could do. There's our echo. So um, these are all just little tiny commands and a command is like, um, like a verb right so do this thing so that's a little tiny program that does different things with your computer um, so that's an interesting list of different things that you can do um, through your command line so here's our echo you can see which which is one you'll use a lot like that will show you um, which version of things you're using. You can say kill, that's like to kill the process. Um, I don't know what nice is, that's pretty cool. PWD, we know what that is. We know what echo is. Um, uh, let's see, time. I'm sure that will just show us the time if we type in, let's quit out of here. So use Q for quit and let's type in time. Oh, look at that. It shows us the time. And which, which what, which program? We don't need to know that. All right, so onward. Let's see. So let's review. So PWD shows you, PWD shows you the current directory you're in. Okay, we're still in cats. Um, CD, uh, directory name, changes from the directory you're in to the directory that you name. So, um, and CD dot dot, you don't need the slash, or you can put it if you want. CD dot dot takes you backwards one directory. Um, make directory and name. So let's go back to here, CD and directory name, CD and llama tab, llamas. <clears throat> G 
changes you from the directory you are in to the directory you name. Make directory. Wait, let's jump down to here. LS lists the names of the files in your current directory. LS. Make directory and directory name makes a new directory. Let's do that. Make dir and um, alpaca. And let's use our ls again. Oh, look, there's also this alpaca, which this looks a little different. On my terminal, I have the directories and the files look different from each other. That's not always the case if you haven't set up your terminal yet. But now you can see if I double click, there's my folder or directory that has alpaca in it. Now, if I wanted to move this llama into the alpaca, how would you do that? You would just drag it, right? Ooh, okay, now it's in there. Say I didn't want to just drag it in there. Right now it's out of there. Say I didn't want to drag it in. I'm using my terminal and I want to drag it in there. I could say move alpaca alpaca space into llamas, no, uh, no, alpaca. Wait, no, I want to, sorry about this. I want to move the llama JPEG into the alpaca folder. Okay, so you, from where to where. We're already in this desktop llamas um, directory. So, that's the default for here because we're already starting from there. And now we're going to say move it into here. And now we'll open this. And when I hit enter, watch, this will disappear and it will become, I'm just going to open this up with the down arrow. We'll move into there. Ready? Oh, what? Now it's in there. And we just did it on the command line. Now let's move it out of there. MV alpaca um, llama JPEG, and then let's move it back to where um, where we are. So let's move it to llamas. Let's see. I think that we just have to do that. Let's try that. And then it moved it right out back into the llamas directory. Say I want to make a copy of it, right? So I can say CP for copy. And I'm, instead of just moving it there, I'm going to make a copy of it. And I'm going to move it into, um, co make a copy and move it into the llama. So I'm going to say llama. Let's see if we can do this. Um, or actually, let's make a copy of this about text and put it into the alpaca um, directory. Okay, so I'm going to say copy the about llamas text and put it into the alpaca um, file. You ready? Look at that. Now, there is a copy of the about llamas in the alpaca file. Now let's list what we have here. We have the about llamas text, we have the alpaca directory, and we have the llamas um, uh, file, right? So um, let's see, so, Oh, look, we changed the name of this llama's text as well. Um, okay, so now I'm going to list what is in the alpacas file, alpacas, and see what's in there is the about llama's text, just like we can see on our desktop. All right, so 
let's review the rest here. So what's next? Tab, we've used tab a lot. We used remove. So let's just remove this um, llamas um, file, right? So rm llamas, and that's gone. We'll list again, and it's completely gone. We can open this up to verify. Yep, it's completely gone. Um, control L or clear, clears our screen. Man gives you the manual for any commands that you use. Um, use man rm. Oh, look, here's all the different things you can do with removing. And we hit Q to get out of the man pages. And I would say that you're in a very good um, position to know your way around the terminal at this point. Um, you can know these 10 commands, you're doing very well, and you can get by for a very long time knowing these commands. Um, if you have any questions, um, just try to review this, go over it a few times, kind of make some um, fake folders and um, on your desktop, ch ch try changing directories into them, try making new things. You can, um, you know, always Google, Google things like um, terminal commands. Oops, like I said, I'm not the best typist. Terminal commands. Uh, look, 16 uh, terminal uh, commands everyone should know. Mm, I'd really start out with basic terminal commands. Check out and look at, aha, uh -huh, this is exactly what I was talking about. Oh, look, the same thing. Here's a big reference guide. How to use basic uh, terminal commands, work in the terminal. For dummies, you're not a dummy though. Um, so here's a cheat sheet. Uh, if you are on a Windows machine, basic terminal commands for Windows, check that out because they are a little bit different. Um, so instead of make dir, it's um, something else. I always forget. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really good start. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Ask uh, somebody. Who you know, you can uh, ask me. Um, I hope this really helped. And uh, I did this video because when I started learning, somebody showed me. Um, my programming teacher would just started typing and doing all this stuff, and I had no idea what he was doing or talking about. And I thought, you know what? If he had just taken the time to do a short a tutorial about um, the command line, then it would have been so much easier the whole way through. So this is a really good place to start and uh, good luck on your journey.